Me, 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 but also you. <laughs> the Pharaoh fast forwards his favorite foreign film. Pip, 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 powder donut. <clears throat> Okay, what's my line? Uh, the only line I see here on the script is get options based on your budget with the name your price tool from Progressive. Oh man, that's a tongue twister, huh? I'm sorry, I'm gonna need a few more minutes. <clears throat> bulbous Walrus, the Bulbous Walrus. The name your price tool, only from Progressive. The owl ran afoul of the comatose Coxswain. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates price and coverage match limited by state law. Thank you. Hello, everybody. How are you? How's it going? Thank you. Thank you. you. You know, we have a lot of expressions in the English language that we use all the time. Most all of us use them every day. And we never seem to examine them very closely. You know, we just say them as if they really made sense. Like, legally drunk. <laughs> well, if it's legal, what's the problem? <laughs> Leave the guy alone. He's legally drunk. <laughs> You know where you can stick it. You hear that, don't you? Guys, you know where you can stick that. Well, why do we always assume everyone knows where they can stick it? Suppose you don't know. Suppose you're a new guy. You have absolutely no idea where to stick it. I think there ought to be a government booklet entitled Where to Stick It. Now that I think of it, I believe there is a booklet like that. They send it to you when you complain about your income tax. Selling like hotcakes. Well, is this the fastest selling item we could think of? For this figure of speech? Hotcakes? Beer, cigarettes, coffee, even eggs. You go to the average place where people are ordering breakfast, you'll find a lot more people ordering eggs than are ordering hotcakes. Well, it doesn't sound right, does it? Michael Jackson's new album is selling like eggs. People won't say that. It doesn't have the right ring to it. Undisputed heavyweight champion. Well, if it's undisputed, what's all the fighting about? <laughs> to me... That's the last straw. That one doesn't seem fair to me, you know? I think you ought to warn a guy first. That's the next of the last straw. Let him know he's running out of straws. Down the pike. Boy, he was the meanest guy ever to come down the pike. Fine. What about guys who come up the pike? Not everybody lives north of the pike. Some guys come up the pike and they're really mean because nobody mentions them at all. What about a guy who don't even use the pike? Comes on Amtrak. He was the meanest guy ever to arrive on Amtrak. Doesn't have that rings like eggs. Down the tubes. You hear that a lot, especially the last couple of years. People say, boy, the country is really going down the tubes. What tubes? <laughs> Have you seen any tubes? Where are these tubes? And where do they go? And how come there's more than one tube? <laughs> Would seem to me one country, one tube. <laughs> what, does every state all of a sudden have to have its own tube now? <laughs> one tube is all you need. Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, and I want to tell you that arthritis is not a genetic thing. It's not a disease of aging. Neither is osteoporosis. Get a hold of my book. It's all in your head. It goes into the 25 different diseases you get when you have osteoporosis of the skull. These are all reversible. You take the Healthy Bone and Joint Pack, the MSM, vitamin D3, stay away from all the bad foods, including gluten, and guess what? You'll regrow all your bones, including your skull and your legs and your hips and everything else. Contact us at usaradiohealth.com. That's usaradiohealth.com. Learn how thousands of smart homeowners are investing about a dollar to avoid expensive home repair bills. John, a former non-customer, said, My air conditioner broke and I had to spend $1,900 to fix it. Jeff, a customer, wrote, My air conditioner broke and I got a new one at no out-of-pocket cost. Mary, a former non-customer, wrote, My heating system stopped running. I had to spend $3,000 to get a new one. Lisa, a customer, wrote, my heater stopped working. I got it fixed at no out-of-pocket cost. For about $1 a day, you can have all the major appliances and systems in your home guaranteed fixed or replaced with HSC's home warranty coverage. Call now and the first month is free. 
If the lines are busy, please call back. Call now, 800-238-9182, 800-238-9182, 800-238-9182. Again, that's 800-238-9182. Are you tired of high cable TV rates? Sign up for a dish today and get a $500 bonus offer while supplies last. Plus, lock in your price for two years guaranteed. Call All-American Dish, your dish author. Authorized retailer now. 800 610 5739. 800 610 5739. That's 800 610 5739. Offers require credit qualification, 24 month commitment, early termination fee, and e auto pay. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Hey there, you're welcome to back. <laughs> right hey there, here. Oh, there. 23 minutes before the hour. <laughs> Oh, place your next hour here. Before we go to our special guest. Yes. Person very close to me. Yes. I I want to do a little numbers run for you just real quickly. Okay. And it's about the pandemic. Okay. Uh, We have been averaging 1.2 million million shots in the arm a day for the past week. Joe Biden said he wanted to do a million a day for 100 days. That would be 100 million people, correct? Okay. Good math. Okay. Um, The CDC came out with a report yesterday that said what we have been talking about for a long time, that a lot of people contracted this this virus before they knew what it was, Mm -hmm. and so they haven't ever been counted. They believe the number of people who have actually had the COVID-19 virus is four times the number that we know. Well, the number that we know is 26.7 million. So if you multiply that times four, you get 106.8 million. Now you add that to the 100 million, and then you add 75 million children under 12 years old in this country. And if you do all that, you end up with 285.8 million people are either covered for COVID from the shots, we're talking about in 100 days, or have had it, or are under the age of 12. That would be 76.2% of the population. The herd immunity rate is at 70%. That's the percentage when the odds of you catching it because of the people who have been vaccinated or had it or can't transmit it, becomes very, very small. So that is the light at the end of the tunnel. Hmm. Speaking of lights at the end of the tunnel, yes. let's hear from one. Let's do. I think it's Brother Rick. You know him, you love him. You can't get through Friday hey morning without him. Good morning. We missed you, you last week. I know. I we, know you did. Oh, oh, I was so upset with that pesky gas leak that you guys had in New Jersey well, in your neighborhood didn't turn out to be a gas leak, but a fire oh. in a junkyard in Camden, New Jersey, about uh, oh. six or seven miles away, blowing in gotcha. the wind. So, uh, uh, but oh. anyway, it was uh, it does kind of remind me of some my gas ability leaks. to be here. Uh, yes, uh, and so. I was, we were very upset. Well, anyway. Was, yes. How are you, and what's, the, uh, what's on the docket for I'm today? I'm doing, I'm doing great, and... Um, you know, we've talked a lot about uh, my novel, Callus, available on Amazon and on the, uh, uh, the website at amontheradio.com. Nice. Um, the, the, some of the fun parts are the fact that, of course, as a writer, you're always including the things that really happened in life, even if you're creating fiction. And so what I want to talk about today um, is the fact that this coming Tuesday – is February 9th, 2021, and Carol King will celebrate her 79th birthday. So Aww. that in itself, of course, is an event, but let's go back to a different Tuesday 50 years ago. So Tuesday, February 9th, 1971, Carol did not have the ability uh, to celebrate her 29th birthday. And the reason for that is all of us in Southern California woke up to the biggest earthquake 
of our mm -hmm. lifetime, the 6.3 magnitude San Fernando Valley earthquake. It destroyed two hospitals and my elementary school, which had stood in place Jeez. since the early 1900s. Uh, we were petrified because we'd been told so for year after year how California was going to fall into the ocean, and we knew that this was the big one. Six o'clock in the morning, I came stumbling into the bedroom, looking like a drunk at 10 years old. Um, oh. And, you know, what's wrong? And you could see the, the ripples in the glass down the apartment way. And uh, oh. it, it and was the truth a is, frightening right, Some things time. never change. That's right. <laughs> He still does that. <laughs> but let me let me I, give I you where I that. was. But here's I was I was living on Colfax Avenue, and um, I was working in a restaurant. And across the street was a ladies' dress shop, and next to it was a pet store. And the windows broke on both, and the mannequin fell out of the women's shop, ah. and a snake crawled out of the front window of the pet shop. And so when I drove to the restaurant to see if everything was okay, there was this woman with a snake over her body, not a usual <laughs> sight. And and I was also yeah. married at the time, and my wife said to me, it's an atomic bomb. And I said, well, then go back to sleep. <laughs> that is, so it's one of those days that at least all of us in Los Angeles remember um, mm -hmm. You know, and we all have our, our personal our personal stories. And uh, but we were terrified that the next one was going to come. And there were aftershocks that were even bigger than the original quake. Oh. And so um, Carol King, on her birthday at 29 years old, was not doing a, a whole lot of celebrating. And here's here uh, how we uh, also can turn it into like the, uh, another personal story for me. Um, Schools were closed for a week. Everything mm -hmm. was closed for a week. Um, our stepfather had to go into the supermarket and clean up all of the uh, the mess from broken ketchup bottles. And you know, it was everything was closed. We were terrified. The only solace we got on that day, 50 years ago, was when Johnny Carson came on, who had just moved the studios to California. Uh, and was able to joke about it a little bit, giving us a little bit of relief. Well, we didn't venture out of the house for several days, but Mom finally took me uh, on Saturday, four days later, um, to the white front over on Roscoe Boulevard. She bought me a hamburger at the hamburger stand that's still there across the mm. street beach. <laughs> and then we went into... The white front were able to buy a few of the staples that we needed, and she bought me the brand new album, which had come out the day after the earthquake, Carol King's Tapestry. Oh, uh, you know, Chris, uh, that is uh, my... Rick, take us to the break, and let's continue and on And what you do with all those staples? <laughs> <laughs> right here on Daybreak U.S. See your Friday morning smiling face. Mm -hmm. Everyone smiling. looks wonderful on it's Friday. It's 12 minutes before the hour. It is. Place your next hour here. Now we have a lot of people don't know a lot of the background behind my brother Ricky. He had a storied musical career. And we'll oh. sum it up in one word. And that word would be what, Ray? The accordion. <laughs> We were talking about you. I did. We couldn't wait to talk to you about the skinny young kid with the accordion. Who got body pop yeah, parts yeah, that's thrown in it. The, the salesman uh, came to the door and, of course, okay. said I had natural ability uh, on the accordion. Oh. And uh, uh, they uh, let me borrow a small accordion, which was manageable oh. for me at 10 years old or oh. younger, I would think. Um, and uh, uh, I took lessons. They were $7 a week. And the whole plan, of course, was to get me to buy the big accordion, 
which they did buy for me. And it was way too heavy for me to lift. And there went my accordion career. But I always remember uh, uh, mom uh, saying um, that it was a great instrument to be able to play because you could bring it to party. <laughs> <laughs> Did your accordion uh, come with a little cup on the side of it? I don't remember. (laughs) Yes, and a monkey. Um, So um, anyway, that was my that was my musical career. And ever since I learned my lesson, now I just listen. I don't play. Um, By the way, the P.S. to the whole the P.S. to the old thing by being an older brother and already understanding all these kind of things. It became part of the divorce settlement <laughs> between my mother and father. <laughs> my mother was upset. She said, Bill, sell that accordion. <laughs> Pawn that accordion. Oh, so yeah, there are many Carol people King. who yeah. uh, are many people who utter that statement. Uh, but yeah. anyway, Carol King. Yeah. Let's yes. go back to that uh, tapestry. Um, despite the fact that it came out, the day after a major earthquake in California would zip up the charts, make it to number one. It is to this day, one of the biggest selling albums of all time. Um, Everybody, you you mentioned this, Ray, everybody had it on every format. You had it on cassette, you had it on album, you bought it again on CD. Um, It is a phenomenal album. It rates number two in the albums that, have been on the Billboard Top 100 the longest. Now, number one uh, is Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, which was on the Billboard Top 100 for 714 weeks, if you can imagine. And Carole King's Tapestry, over uh, over 300 weeks, 600, I mean, six years in the Top 100, if you can imagine. And of course it did. It was that album that even if you were like a heavy metal guy, you know, all you listened to was Led Zeppelin or you were into uh, whatever it was at the top, you took a break and you bought this album. You know, you could be Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, Pink Floyd, but you had this album as well. And it read like a greatest hits. I feel the earth move so far away. Um, you know, and it's, it's, it's funny because Carol King never thought her voice was good enough to sing her own songs. She had so many hits. Uh, here, here's part of the list. Will you still love me? Will you love me tomorrow from the Shirelles in 1960? She was 17 years old at the time. Take Good Care of My Baby by Bobby V. Um, Chains was a hit. Um, uh, and then for the Beatles. Um, the Locomotion, the only song that's oh, ever gee. been a hit, a number one hit three times. Uh, it was first done by Little Eva, who was Carol King's babysitter, if you can imagine. They made uh-huh. uh, a, a remake of it by Grand Funk Railroad that made it to number one. Great version of the song. And then in the 1990s, Australian uh, superstar Kylie Minogue brought it to number one as well. The only song like that. Carol King wrote Pleasant Valley, uh, Pleasant Valley Sunday for Aww. the Monkees. You know, okay. one hit after the other, but never felt as if she could do it on her own. Um, and came and to of Los course Angeles wrote two after of the, her. And wrote two of the classic songs of all time for James Taylor. You've Got a Friend. And fire and rain. Wow, I didn't realize that and you did. Carol wrote those mm. in so many, so many songs. And um, so she divorced uh, uh, Jerry Goffin, uh, her husband, um, and uh, moved to California with her two kids and basically retired. That was, I think, in 1967, something like that. Uh, but quickly wanted to get back into the industry, um, and, uh, you know, wanted to, uh, uh, you know, try it on her own. 
<laughs> oh, there I go again. See, I, I picked it up. <laughs> uh, don't forget, Brother Rick, thank you always. Happy weekend. Don't forget, amontheradio.com. Learn lots about music. And play also, that thing. Yes, and, and don't forget, get your yeah, Miles from go. Nowhere and Caliph. And today, hi, this is Wayne Allen Root for Liberty Health Share. If you need a health care program for 2021, you are in luck. Liberty HealthShare offers affordable health care sharing programs starting as low as $199 per month. Learn more at libertyhealthshare.org slash Wayne Root. I found Liberty HealthShare six years ago. It was the best decision I've ever made. It's an alternative to health insurance. It's Christian health care sharing from a nonprofit ministry. There are no contracts. There's no network. You can choose any doctors or hospitals you want. Here's the most important things you need to know. First, credibility. Liberty has over 200,000 members. They paid out over $1.2 billion in claims in the past four years. Second, my personal experience. I'm a member. My children are members. Just in premiums alone, I've saved over $120,000 since I joined. Could you use an extra $120,000? To find out more about your health sharing options, call 855-58-LIBERTY, 855-58-LIBERTY, or go to libertyhealthshare.org slash Wayne Root. That's libertyhealthshare.org slash Wayne Root. If your loved one has passed away due to COVID-19, pay close attention to this message. You could be entitled to a death benefit of over $300,000. The U.S. government has set up a fund to pay families relief if they've lost a loved one due to COVID-19. We know this is a hard time for you, and this fund has been set up by the federal government to help ease your pain. The compensation includes a death benefit and lost wages benefit. Time is limited, so we urge you to make a free phone call right now. There's no cost to you for this claim. All legal fees are only covered once you receive your money. So if you've lost a loved one due to COVID-19, call the legal helpline right now to find out if you qualify for a cash award. Here's our number. 800-923-9018. 800-923-9018. 800-923-9018. That's 800-923-9018. Paid for by the IPG Law Group. Welcome back to Daybreak USA. Well, I have a fantastic guest for you. He is an actor, comedian, and host of the new food show, Crime Scene Kitchen. And he is joining us live this morning from L.A. to tell us about his latest role as Chief Happy Hour Officer with Premium Mixer Company Q Mixers, just in time for the big summer get-togethers. Good morning, Joel. So what are you up to with Q Mixers and other projects that you have going on? Why, thank you for asking. Uh, Well, here's the deal. So if you've ever had like a gin and tonic and the tonic uh, goes flat, which happens a lot, as you know, that's the worst thing that's ever happened on this planet. And it's not worth it to drink it. It really isn't. Uh, That's why Jordan at Q Mixers, he created the company when he had a flat gin and tonic and he said never again. And so that's why he created these small cans. They're hypercarbonated, very flavorful, very spicy ginger beer. Uh, This is an American mule, not Moscow mule, because, you know, we're close to 4th of July. You put some vodka in there, some lime, you hit it with the ginger beer, maybe two to four ounces, and that will tickle your nose the entire drink. Um, Because a a good mixer is so good, a bad mixer, not worth it. So why ruin perfectly good booze? So start with good ingredients, and believe me, you will be happy. Crime Scene Kitchen on Fox after MasterChef. Uh, It is a competition baking show. It's also a mystery show where teams uh, of two bakers go into what's called the Crime Scene Kitchen and something has been baked there. There's evidence left of something that has been baked and they have two minutes to put those clues together and then they bake that thing they think it is while somebody uh, is dying on the floor. Um, my movie Happily has just come out on um, DVD, you know, which means it's on video on demand and all that. Uh, and I'll be de- doing more Star Girl this year. Um, um, I think that's coming. I'm not sure. What, they're just about to release the second season. Uh, so there's that. And then I'm doing a couple of movies, which I will not tell you about. Let's see. If something costs less, but people are happier with it, that sounds like something to look into. And that's MediShare. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save the typical family 500 bucks a month, and that's huge. But it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The customer satisfaction rate 
for MediShare is double that of the typical health insurance plan. Double. MediShare works. It's been around for more than a quarter century, and members have shared more than $3 billion of each other's bills. People love having telehealth and a huge nationwide PPO network. So, yeah, you can save a ton and like it better. Imagine being happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy or you just want a plan you're happy with, you can call right now and get a price within two minutes. A very, very smart use of two minutes. Here's the number you need. 833-34-BIBLE. That's 833-34-BIBLE. 833-34. Now is the chance to use reliable energy to grow your money with the Dominion Energy Reliability Investment. Our new investment product offers competitive returns, no maintenance fees, and flexible online access to your money. Make the reliable investment in reliable energy. The Dominion Energy Reliability Investment. To find out more, go online to reliabilityinvestment.com. That's reliabilityinvestment.com. From earaches to strep tests, there's MinuteClinic at CVS. See a provider, fill a prescription, and grab essentials. Or see us online with telehealth options. That's healthier made easier. Visit MinuteClinic at CVS today. Services vary by location. See MinuteClinic.com for details.